I'm going to show you around Ramped Up so you can get started easily finding leads and contacts and getting after them and making sales. So when you first log on, in general, you're going to want to go to list building. So this is where you do your basic searches to find new contacts, right? You just go to list building. Most people start with people. And you'll see over here on the left, all the search criteria that you can choose from. Um, quick tip here, always check professional email. That means that you want only contacts that have a business email available in their contact record. If you're only doing a calling campaign, and you're not planning to email them, fine, you can uncheck that. But you need to know that if you do uncheck that, some of the results will not include an email. Um, so generally you want that checked. Then you go up here and let's say we're looking for CEOs. Type that in, hit enter, and it puts in that criteria. However, little details matter, and you might want to put in chief executive officer because that's how it will be written for some contacts. Job level is, you know, are they a partner, a VP, a manager, et cetera? Um, I'm not going to use that in this case. Job function, um, you know, what part of the organization do they work in? Um, and you can select any of these. You can select multiple criteria. Job start date, that's self-explanatory. Recently changed jobs, that's really handy. Um, and then we can search on uh, companies by name, by their domain, by the industry. So you can choose from different industry categories there, right? Um, employee size. So the way that works is if I want to sort of target medium-sized companies, I might want to do companies that are 200 employees to 500. And then I click in there again, I say 500 to 1,000 also, and 1,000 to 5,000. So I'm going to do all three of those categories in one search. So at this point, we're doing CEOs in medium-sized companies. And now we could add a revenue band. However, employees is much more accurate than revenue, just FYI. You can search by industry using the NAICS code or the SIC code. So, um, you know, you'll see here, um, you can start typing in a keyword and it'll give you matching SIC codes so you don't have to know what the SIC codes are. Um, so let's go ahead and do a search so you can see the results. Um, one other quick tip is you want to select your country. Maybe you want to market in multiple countries, but you need to know that Ramped Up covers the whole globe. So if you don't put United States in the country, you're going to get a lot of people all over the world. Uh, now we'll scroll down here and we'll hit search. And we'll see what we get back. So there's 29,000 CEOs and medium-sized com companies in the United States in the database. And so just to understand the results here, obviously you got their names and you've got their LinkedIn profile, their title, where they're located, company name. Um, this is telling you that there is a company phone num number. This tells you that there's a personal email address, that little Gmail symbol is a personal email address for John. And the green symbol tells you that th there's a business email, which is what we, you know, we required that when we uh, set up the search. So down here for Mindy, we only have a business email for her. We don't have a personal email. Um, so you can go down here and you can kind of thumb through all of the results and just kind of look it all over. And 
one thing I noticed right there is executive assistant to chief executive officer, administrator to the chief executive officer, right? So I might want to filter those people out. So what I'll do is I'll go here to suppression criteria and I'll say administrative and assistant. And so it's going to exclude anyone whose title includes those words, right? So I'll redo the search now and it's just going to same criteria with those additions. And, um, you know, obviously we'll have a few fewer than we started with. Now we're down to 23,000. And so really this is the best way to search ramped up. You're going to start with generally broad criteria. In other words, when you're looking up here under job criteria, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, I would also want to make sure it's a, you know, CXO, right? But let me show you what that does. That lowered the results because not 100% of these people are categorized based on all of these criteria, right? So the principle is use as few criteria as you possibly can to get a good looking result in, when you look at the results here. Uh, so what you do is you just start with the bare minimum and then start adding things to filter it down. So you might say, man, there's a lot of people in New York. I don't do a lot of people or I don't do a lot of business in New York. So let's put, um, wait, let's put New York in the suppression criteria, right? Um, or, but we don't have a state in suppression criteria. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the states we do want to do business in. So let's say that's Texas, and California, and Utah. Now we're down to 5,500. So you see how the, uh, the results change. So that's the idea. Start adding criteria and keep searching over and over again until you start to get to what looks like a really focused, accurate, right on target list for you and in the ballpark of the number that you're looking for. Sometimes you only want to spend a certain amount of money or you only need a certain number of you know, leads to call or whatever. Um, and then down here, make sure and save your search. So that lets you retrieve it in the future. You know, tomorrow morning, you don't remember how the heck you got to that 5,500 that looked like the real sweet spot. You can just retrieve it. You go down here at the bottom and say view, save searches. And there they all are. And you click on the search and it's just rerunning that search for me now. Um, okay, so that's the basics. There's a lot of, a lot of additional subtlety that I'm going to try not to bore you with right this minute. The other piece that I want to make sure you see is the ability to append. Um, so I can go here to data appending and I can upload a list that I already have of, um, you know, existing customers, for instance. Maybe I've got a, like in this case, this is a subscriber list to a newsletter, which is, um, you know, mostly just emails, very few phone numbers or company names or any of that, right? Um, so I'm gonna map to email address, goes to the email address in the file and first name, and last name, and that's the minimum. You can also use the LinkedIn profile. So that's a really cool feature. If you can export a list of leads from LinkedIn with their profile links, you can map on that. And then you hit continue and you say, I wanna append all of these records by checking right there and you hit continue and you give it a name. And I hit continue 
and it's going to deduct credits from your account for all of these records. And I'm not going to do that for this example purpose, but what I'm going to do is back up and I'm going to show you the results. So here's a list that I appended earlier where we have a, a pop-up on our website where people are required to only give us an email address uh, to get to download a PDF, right? So that's all we got is an email. We don't have anything else. So what we did is we uploaded that list of emails and did the append. And first of all, ramped up comes back and it gives us this analysis of what titles are represented in that file. So they're matching every email in your file and then looking at their database and telling you, um, you know, most of them are owners or CEOs and so on and so forth, right? Um, what industries are they in? Uh, what size of company do they tend to be in? So now you're getting this demographic profile of your existing customers or leads, right? So that's super valuable in the first place. Pro tip real quick, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to take a screenshot of that analysis because I'm gonna use it in a minute and I wanna be able to look at it in another screen. I'm just taking a quick screenshot of that and I'm gonna move it over here and now, you notice right here, find lookalike contacts. So what that's saying is, based on this demographic profile, show me everybody you got in your database that fits the same criteria. Give me new contacts that are right in my sweet spot. That's the power of this append process. So there you go. It's come back and, told, and found for me almost 1,300 people that fit the exact same criteria, same profile of my best customers, right? Uh, one little trick is that because they're trying to really make it the ideal customers for you, they're only picking the most, um, the, the most highly ranked criteria. So if we look back at that analysis that we were looking at, you know, internet was the biggest industry and owner was the biggest title, right? Um, and then, um, you know, sales managers was another big title. Um, and so that's what you're seeing here. So what you probably want to do is add to that. So I might want to add here owner and partners and CXO and uh, I'll leave sales in there. But you see internet because that was the most common in our list. I probably want to, I'm looking at that screenshot now and I see that the second most common was information technology and marketing and advertising. And so I'm just adding a few other criteria to broaden the search, right? So I'll search again. And now you're gonna see because I included more, indus more um, industries and titles and such that the number of contacts goes up. So now we're up to 14,000. And you see here one little important detail. This under suppression criteria, automatically all those people that I in, imported via that CSV file, they're being eliminated from this list. So I'm not gonna pay to download the contacts that I uploaded in the first place, right? So you're, you're sort of protected there. So again, you go to data appending, you upload your CSV file, um, you get the analysis. It'll take, you know, usually it's for a small, uh, reasonably sized list, it's, you know, 30 minutes or an hour, you're gonna get an email saying the analysis is done. And um, then you just kind of, like we did in the beginning, start changing the criteria for that lookalike list. And now I've got a list of 14,000 new leads. I go here and hit export and 
another really important detail, right? I'm going to give it a name. And here you got some control over this list. Validate the emails. That's essential. If you're planning to email these people, do that. What's happening is Ramped Up is literally going to check with those mail servers in real time while you're downloading the list and make sure they're still valid emails. That's really important. It's going to protect your overall delivery uh, in your email blast. Limit per company, meaning, you know, I don't want 10 people all at the same company. Give me five max, right? And limit per list. Maybe out of 14,000, I don't want all 14,000. I can only afford 5,000 or something, right? Um, so once you do that, um, now again, you're gonna get an email in 30 minutes or so, and you'll be able to download that CSV of new leads that are right in your target audience that you can load into Sales Nexus and start calling and emailing. Okay. Hopefully that helps. If we can help you uh, with the subtle details, uh, please reach out to our team. Thank you.